Hey everyone, I want to show you how to find links in your shop and put them in your shop in different ways so that people can find other things in your shop if they're looking for that. And when you link on Etsy, sometimes there are live links that are clickable in the app, but they're never live links that are clickable on desktop unless they just go to another Etsy listing or another Etsy shop or something. So if it's an Etsy link, that'll work. Otherwise, it's just going to be something that people need to copy and paste. So the first thing is, where is your shop link? It's up here at the top. And you want to copy this here, but not this last part. This is just a tracking code that tells people where this link came from, or like where the click came from. So for example, in Google Analytics, it'll tell you where each click came from, what page was that person on before they came to the page that you're looking at. And that's basically the end of every URL has that code on it. So you want to ignore that, but just copy up to the name of the shop. You can copy and paste this and send that link to people and you can use that and they can come to your shop. Now let's say that I want to add a link from this listing to this listing. So I would click here. It's the same thing. See, this is the vintage weird dog figurine. And then the click key, again, that's the tracking code. And that's going to tell people that this tells me in Google Analytics or whatever analytics I'm using that I clicked on this from the home page. Eventually that information will come up. But you don't want to do that. You can just actually get here to the end of the number. This is the listing number here, this number right here. Okay. And you can either copy the whole thing or just up to the listing number. And that's a little bit shorter. So that looks better. But you can copy this. And if you go into another browser, that will take you to the listing. What you can do when you have this kind of thing, you can put this in another listing. If you say, have a bunch of dog figurines or something like that. If I had a whole bunch of dog figurines, I could say, here's another one. If you might be interested in this one and then use this link in the listing description, and then people might click on this one if they're in the description and they see it and they can go to that page. Another way that you can use this, let's say that I do want to do a section. So let's say that I have a, a toy, a game or something, and I want to send people to this section. So I'm going to click on this section. Now, every section on Etsy has its own ID. This is the section ID for that section. So you can just do this whole thing, copy this whole thing, and paste it and say in the description, you could say for all the other games that I have, click here and check them out or whatever you wanna say. And that will take people to this entire section. So this is what they're gonna see. That's handy because again, you can kind of navigate and people into your shop, keep them in your shop a little bit longer, have them look at more than one thing. And sometimes that will work to get more sales. Another thing that you can do is to search for something. So let's say I'm trying to think of something that I have a lot of. Let's say that I want to send people to all of the figurines in my shop. Okay, so basically anything that has the word figurine in the title. Okay, so what I'm going to do is search in my shop. So this isn't a search bar on Etsy. This is searching in your shop figurine and that should bring up everything that has the word figurine in the title, right? Or the tags or somewhere. But Etsy is finding it. So this is going to have its own URL. So what you want to do is click this and copy it all the way down here. And see so it says search query figurine. So that's saying it's coming from the seller homepage and there's a search query figurine. If you copy this and you paste this into another browser, it will come up with that page and it's pulled in everything that has figurine in it. So I do this a lot in my shop when I have people who are looking for a pattern or a specific type of flower. I can type that in here and if it's just like roses, I could put in roses and find everything in my shop that has roses in it and then send them that link and then they can look at everything or everything that's purple. If it has purple in it, I, you know, it'll pull that all up. So that's the kind of thing where you can use these links to put these links in descriptions. You can use them on social media if you have a link that's coming in and you just want people to go to one section. But just remember that you can search within your own shop to find specific items. Each section has its own URL, so you can use that. And you can also use a link shortener like bit.ly, which is B-I-T dot L-Y. And that will take you to the link shortener. So you can use bit.ly to reduce your um, the length of the links. And you would have to sign in and get that all set up. But this will make it shorter and easier for people to copy. But it, you really don't need to worry about it because if you're just putting this link into your descriptions and saying, if you'd like to see all the figurines that I have in my shop, here's a link, 
then it will go to this search and it'll bring up everything that has that word in it. So leave me any questions. I will answer them as soon as I get a chance. And please give this video a thumbs up. I do appreciate it.